gotta be here somewhere. Is this it? We're looking for beans, not spleens. Oh. I don't understand. It was in our bean corner last night. Maybe you accidentally threw them out? Hey, a scrap never throws out a perfectly good can of beans. Especially not one that's eight ounces of pure hickory smoked bliss. If we can't find it by tonight, we starve. Stone, stop crying. It's not even noon yet. Uh, that wasn't me. What the heck? What is that? I don't know. Some kind of meat? That's a baby, dummy. Well, she wasn't wrong. Aw, did someone abandon you here? Typical ramshackle, huh? So now what? Do we throw it back in the trash? And keep looking for those beans. What? No! This baby is a precious gift from Mother Nature, and he's all alone in the world with no one to take care of him. What about the orphanage? Stone, what the fuck? Everyone knows the orphanage is no place for a kid. How about we just take him in? Uh, I a don't... new member means a new best friend. What should we name him? Mm, maybe something like, uh, Maggot? Maggot. Because he looks like one, doesn't he? I see it. Anyway, Maggot, how good are you at gambling? Any bank heist or fraud experience? Oh, we can teach him the old slick and slide. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Smell of piss and opportunity. Entertainment Square is where all the loot bags hang out. Look at them all. Riching. Richly. Anyway, today Skip is gonna show you how we get the money from their pockets into ours. It's gonna be trial by fire, buddy. I hope you're ready. You got this. Now go eat the rich. Freaking devour them, dude. Vinny, do you remember how we didn't make enough from pickpocketing last week so we had to eat shoes? Eh, the shoes weren't that bad. They tasted like all the other shoes I've had. No, I mean, how the hell are we gonna raise a baby if we can't even take care of ourselves? Hey, you were in maggot shoes too, remember? Me and Skip found you sopping wet from the rain. You looked so dumb. <sighs> anyway, maggot's part of her crew now. Losers like us. We're all we've got on this bitch of an earth, so we gotta stick together. And then you just do the worm. Or, I guess in your case, the maggot. There you go. Nice job. Aw, don't worry. I believe in you. And if you ever need help, the three of us will always be there to back you up. Got it? Aye. <laughs> All right, that's her signal. Let's bounce. Mmm, yeah. I replaced all her playtime with extra pageant rehearsal, so there's no way Bailey's gonna lose this year. Oh, how dreadful. Another disgusting scrap. Falling into drugs and homelessness at such a young age. Begging for money to get it next try. Bailey, a future sweetheart does not touch the poor. And don't smile so much, you'll ruin your makeup. You know, letting your kid express themselves is actually quite healthy for their development. <laughs> As if I take parenting advice from a bunch of... Scraps! Oh my god! Police! Skip! I'm sorry, I had to! Shit! Someone shut this broad up! <laughs> wow. Well, fuck me. That's a true scrap if I ever saw one. You really have a certain genie says call, you know that? Hey, uh... Welcome to the team. Oh. Maggot, that was amazing! You literally ate the rich! Like, who even does that? Alright, I hate to be that guy, but if we don't come up with something else, we're probably gonna have shoes for dinner again. Oh. Oh, you stupid 
piece of paper? Attacking her fetus friend like that? Just who do you think you are? Oh, hey. It's an invite for Ramshackle's next top sweetheart. A stupid baby pageant they do every year. Yeah, it's really overrated. But the winner gets... Ten dollars? That's enough for groceries, Vinny's rabies shots, and a new can of beans. Dang, you want to try winning? That's pretty ballsy. It's a rich people only event. Hmm. I like the way you think, you little poop goblin. Welcome to the 35th annual edition of Ramshackle's Next Top Sweetheart, where the most perfect and talented infant will be selected to be the face on every ad, every movie, every cereal box. A life of fame and celebrity status, and $10 awaits. So which baby will be Ramshackle's next sweetheart? We'll find out today. Excuse me. Pardon me. We gotta get the best spot for our bougie little boy. Before we get to the epicest, most hypest pageant of the year, let's have a word from our sponsors. Ramshackle's next top sweetheart is sponsored by Hicks Hickory Smoked Beans. Get it tonight or else you'll starve. <laughs> All right, we've got some fierce competition this year. First up is reigning champion, Taylee, who can do a backflip, but only when you're not looking. Honey, your bow is crooked! I'm gonna have to disown you once this is over. We've also got Jaden from the Braden family, who can perform telepathy, but only with himself. Jaden? Don't you dare tarnish the Braden name, or else it's off to the void with you. Man, these loot bags are brutal. Next up is... Maggot? Am I reading that right? Yeah, 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 You three think you're going to win? Let me ask you something. Did you also get your baby to stick to a strict diet? And train eight to two hours a day for this pageant? No. I didn't think so. Next time you talk about winning, you better think twice. You're not gonna believe this, folks! Maggot is doing the worm! No, the maggot! Yo, that's it! Even the judges' minds are blown! Literally! We all know no one's gonna top that, so who gives a damn about the rest of the contestants? The winner of the 35th annual edition of Ram Shackle's Next Top Sweetheart is... Maggot! My baby should have won! Not that flaccid potato sack! Smile. Let's get your good side, honey. I'm back in copper from the insect press. Are you still breastfed? And if so, do you consider that a drinking problem? He cheated. Round all my things. Hey, Tam. Maggot. Oh, shit. It's okay, little buddy. We're here for you. Hey, can we just take our money and go? Oh, no can do. That's just the life of a sweetheart. We've got interviews lined up with the Grapevine and the Gossip Gazette. Come on, can't you see that our buddy's upset? Please, just chill out. You know what? Screw you loot bags and your fancy garbage. Maybe if you lived on the streets too, you'd, I don't know, empathize with people? <coughs> You're from the streets? You're all scraps? Oh, you're not allowed to be here. Go back to your slums. <laughs> I want to speak to you. Why does this shit always happen to us? It'll be okay, guys. There's a reason they call us scraps. Skip, take Maggot and get him somewhere safe. Okay. All right. You want the manager? Well, guess what? I am the manager!
Some folk in the alternative? No? Okay. Do grow up fast. Greetings, humanity. I am a being of divine nature, come to judge the worthiness of man's morality. I came to you disguised as a vulnerable infant seeking refuge, and I leave enlightened. My eyes opened to Ramshackle's true nature, that which I deem unworthy. You are a town sunken to the depths of depravity, lavishing in its gluttony and wearing its greed with pride. As for you, my dear benefactors, though you too are flawed, and God forbid you three reproduce, your hearts be kind and well-intentioned. Your bonds of friendship are strong, and the time I spent with you three mortals left me with a deep sense of belonging and purpose. As such, the name Maggot you have bestowed upon me will always have a warm place in my heart. For the milk of your kindness, I bestow upon you three cents and an eight-ounce can of hickory-smoked beans. Now I must depart, for I have completed my mission. Maggot! I'm so glad we met! We'll never forget you! Likewise, Skip. Likewise. Hey, man! What's a scrap? Always a scrap! Come visit the slum alleys whenever you pass by! This one's for you. Thank you kindly, little ones. Ah, yes. One final thing to address. Divine Judgment! Farewell, mortals. Live long and prosper. 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 Bye, Bye Maggie! Bye, Maggie. Bye, Maggie. Bye, Maggie. See you later! <sighs> I'm really gonna miss the guy. Yeah, now I'm stuck with you two idiots again. Hey, didn't they say something about beans? Say it till 